we are getting a cape to commemorate <laughs> the Steam review disaster. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. So this is confirmed now by the CEO. We are getting this as a cape design in the game. The devs are currently working on how, what they're going to call this. They're working on how they're going to deploy it and how they're going to add it to the game. But this is essentially the four days of negative reviews that hit Helldiv Helldivers 2 after the whole PSN drama, which was completely justified. It was horrific what they were doing with the game. It has completely been backtracked now by Sony, which is a total shock. I mean, honestly, this is actually a shock. If you watch my video today from earlier on in the day, I literally couldn't believe it. Like, I would literally just woke up. I was like, what? This, this doesn't seem real. A massive corporation has gone back on a crazy decision that probably was there in the first place to bump up, uh, you know, subscriber numbers on PSN. So some faceless corpo executive guy looks like he's, he's met his key performance indicators for the period. And he's like, hey, look at my KPIs. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm the best. Uh, but actually, no, they've gone back on it. Now, I think this is a massive sort of... It, it was a community outcry that helped. The devs as well were also fighting for this. And it's just been overturned. And I think this is great. And also for Sony, for actually sitting back and going, you know what? Actually, yeah, this is a bit crazy. Let's not continue taking brand damage to PlayStation. Let's not continue taking tons of refunds going through Steam. Let's not continue to just give... Well, Annihilate Helldivers 2. There's, there's no giving there. It's just taking away from everything that Arrowhead had put together over the last seven years or so. Just insane. But Sony have seen the light. And it's just crazy to me that we're in this situation. I cannot believe it. It's awesome. But we've got a lot to cover in this video, so let's get stuck into it. But the main news is, this is going to be added to the game. But you're probably wondering, how much will this cost? Well, I've got the details. We're getting this one for free, I hope. It'll be $999.99. Easy. <laughs> Holds finger over the thumbs down. Don't make me do it again. <laughs> it will be free, of course. Yeah, it will. So this is just going to be added to the game, like the Malevolon um, Creek Cape. And I, honestly, this is insane. Like, this is only something Helldivers 2 could do, which is, it's this, like, ultra meta. Like, it, it, we, this has now become the law of the game. It's almost like, in a lot of ways, this is this. it is their unique take on live service games, where it is live, it is dynamic, it's changing based on what the community are doing. And this has been a very... Uh, well, it's, it's been the most intense major order we've had. <laughs> we've all rallied together and got it done. Uh, and so we're going to get an item in the game to commemorate it. And I think this is crazy. It's also like that totally like in your face, brash style of like, I don't know, absolute ultimate piss taking from Helldivers 2. And it's just great. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be a cape. I don't think I'm ever going to take off. And, and I thought I wouldn't take off the Malevolent Crete one. But no, it'll be going off for this one. And I'll be running around with this on my back forever until it happens again. Or Sony does something crazy again. But hopefully, they've learned from all of this. So, <laughs> yeah. So, what about Spitz? Now, Spitz became world famous <laughs> from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, into Monday as the uh, community manager who made a few choice comments towards people who were getting quite heated in the Discord. And as I did say, you know, I'm not just going to come out and blindly defend people, but I can understand in some, some capacity. You know, when you're just one person and you're seeing like tons of negative comments fired at you, you know, your colleagues, all of that stuff, you do react. You're just human, right? You're just going to go, oh, shut your mouth, whatever. And the problem is when you're somebody who's a public representative of a company, it reflects on the entire company. So that was Spitz's first kind of issue. The next issue um, was, was I get, well, this wasn't really an issue. This was awesome. But Spitz going like, look, just go out there and drop negative reviews <laughs> because this will give us ammo to deal with Sony. And that was a very bold thing to do because that could have resulted very easily in a termination of the position Spitz holds at the company. However, that's not the case though because Spitz is back posting today and replies to this Discord message. Oh God, I thought you got fired or something. Glad to see you're still here. Spitz says, almost not quite. Turns out that telling people to review bomb and refund a game isn't a popular decision with the publisher. <laughs> but I'm still here, and I'm glad that we all made a difference. So, yeah, it was a very, very bold move, and Spitz has survived. Um, but, yeah, it's it's been a, a, <laughs> a baptism of fire, to say the least, I think, for, for the entire community management team, I think, over at uh, Helldivers. But, yeah, it's just insane. There is a new major order. And this is the order. Regain positive review status on Steam. Change negative review to positive review. 45 medal reward. Now, it's not. This is fake. But this is funny. Because it's kind of what needs to happen, yeah? I guess it's not funny, is it really? I'm just off my head at this moment in time. But, like, we went in. We dropped the negative reviews. It has been resolved, the situation. So, really, we need to go in now and start leaving the positive reviews 
that accurately reflect the game. Also as well, you know, maybe people are picking the game back up who possibly refunded it in the past. Um, and we're just sort of like, you know, we're almost rewarding them for undoing their stupid decision. Shouldn't have happened in the first place. And, and let's be under no illusion here. This was a bad move. You know, and it doesn't really bode very well to see this kind of behavior. It could happen again in the future. It probably will happen again in the future. Maybe with a different game, maybe even with a different publisher. But this type of behavior, it's crap. And and when you do look at what's happened with this whole Helldivers 2 controversy over the last couple of days, it almost feels like there's been a little bit of a watershed moment where a, a community built around a game has had enough sway to actually have an impact on the business decisions that are running that game. And all business cares about is making money. And there's always been this, like, I, I love the word dichotomy, but it's true. There's this dichotomy between business and the game. The game wants to be fun. The people making the game want it to be fun. But also, the business want to make money. And, you know, I don't want to bang on about Overwatch, but we've seen this very strongly with Overwatch, where Overwatch was this darling child. It was a game that, you know, essentially had effectively unlimited resources to be made in the first place. It was made by people that wanted to just make a game for the sake of it being a game. I didn't necessarily care about money. Now, fast forward to now, and we're seeing that flipped on its head where the game is more pushed to generate revenue, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just the way they're going around it rather than actually being a game first. And with Helldivers 2, this was the light at the end of the tunnel. This was, oh my God, it's actually a game that's fun again. And we'd all forgot what this feeling felt like of playing a game that's just fun. And then this Sony PSN disaster happened. But it's been rectified. So I do honestly believe that if you have left a negative review because of what's happened over the last few days, Try and remove that from your mind and then leave an honest review. That's what I'll say. Because we can't forget about this. And it, it, it's bad. You know, this is a bad thing that's happened. We need to always remember that this happened. But then also remember how, you know, it, we came to a solution as a community, I guess. You can just see a snapshot here of a bunch of reviews. Um, but yeah, I expect to see more positive reviews coming through. And we can actually take a look to see how many posi positive reviews have been left um, as of today. Now, what is interesting about this, there's actually been more positive reviews left today than negative reviews that were left in the entirety of Friday when all of this kicked off. So I think this is hopefully going to rebalance itself. But like I said, this is almost like our mission now is to get back as a community, say, okay, you know, you've been a bad boy, Sony, but things have been sorted. Let's get the game back to where, where it belongs. Because this game, let's be real, like, you know, I, I saw it's a bit... Like, I know I can sit here and go, oh, yeah, this is game of the year and it's fantastic. Because look at all the videos I've been making on the game. You know, so maybe I'm not the greatest person to ask on this. But it, it's got to be one of the games of the year. It has to be. It actually has to be, right? It, it's incredible. But if this carried on, it wouldn't have been. It would have been a disaster of the year. Disaster of the decade it would have been. So, yeah, let's get this turned around. Now, talking about immortalizing lore, which has happened around the game in the game, this, I think, would be really cool to do. This is an awesome poster as well. Um, I picked up over on Reddit. But, um, yeah, it May the 6th, this was the day liberation happened. Sony headquarters has been 100% liberated. It is, yeah, this needs to be a, a, a holiday, doesn't it, in the game? This should be some sort of prompt, something that they can add to the game that pops up every 6th of May because it's Liberation Day. Even just call it Liberation Day, that would be awesome because that's effectively what's happened. And I think that would be an, another, like, a, a tongue-in-cheek, like, humorous take on the whole situation. I think everyone would like that as well. And I guess I'll end the video with this because this is kind of funny. So this Steam review is possibly the best one so far. The game is so good. We had a campaign mission in real life. 10 out of 10. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the video. I'm going to go away and play some more Helldivers. I haven't played Helldivers for a couple of days, and I'm rusty as hell. And also, I'm looking forward to the new uh, Warp Pond as well now, and we can go through all of that madness. I'm looking at the uh, major order, the way that's going to develop, and all of that good stuff. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. Remember, if you did enjoy the video, do leave a like. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. I'll do my best to keep you guys informed. And yeah, let's uh, let's keep hell diving. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you soon.